What is going on, bros? Welcome to the video. Rolo, tell, tell him welcome to the video. We'll count that as a welcome to the video. Now, we gotta talk because, I gotta be honest, over the last month, I, I've been slacking a little bit. Like, we had this big international move from Spain back to Texas, and during that time, my diet hasn't been great, for example. So it is time to get dialed back in. And whenever you wanna get dialed back in, you gotta start by taking an honest benchmark, because now I can look back and you know measure my progress from here. So first things first, we gotta hop on the scale. So we're coming in just a little bit over 178 pounds. The last time I weighed myself was like two months ago. I was 182. So I've lost weight, which doesn't surprise me because I'm the type of guy that when my diet goes off the rails, I lose weight. I know some of y'all are the same. Some of y'all probably gain weight. But let's see, let's see what we're actually looking like. And no surprises here with the weight loss. I am looking lean. Like this is as lean as I personally would ever want to look. So we got our work cut out for us. We're going to be bulking back up a little bit. You prefer, you prefer me like this? Or you prefer a little more bulky? I love you no matter what, but I do prefer you a little bit bulky. I don't love you this lean. Well, that's good because we're about to get huge. Having this big backyard for the dogs to run around and go to the bathroom has probably been the most convenient part about being back in Texas, even though it is gonna get a little bit smaller of a yard once we build the pool out over here. Stay tuned for that because the backflips, they're coming back. Rolo is stalking his prey. Get him! Get him! And get him! As you can see, Bo is still the alpha male of the house. Get his ass! Bo, put him down. Bo, put him down. Quick update on the new whip, the Porsche Taycan. You know how they say when you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail? Well, with this car, it's like when you're in the Porsche Taycan, every road looks like a raceway, a racetrack. A raceway? A racetrack. Now, Julia, we got this big, nice coffee maker at home, and Julia swears to me, no, I'm gonna use that every day. Don't worry, I'm gonna use that every day. And then every day, she says, hey, can we stop and go through the uh, the drive through here and grab a coffee real quick? That is such a lie. It's him. He's like, let's get Starbucks together. The days he doesn't take his pre-workout. Also, I haven't bought the pods for the coffee maker yet, so I, I don't have any. So we're picking up a coffee? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you have a good one. <gasps> it's a good blow. Cheers. Well, Julia sips the coffee. I'm gonna sip the pre-workout. We still don't have shaker bottles yet. I'm using the Gatorade bottle. We've literally ordered so much on Amazon. I'll just get you some. That pink lemonade is so good. No, no, no. We got our own Gangs Club shaker bottles. Oh, don't yeah. order anything on Amazon. <laughs> so as part of the process of getting dialed in, we are going to crank up the workout frequency. In Spain, we had dialed it back to every other day full body workouts because we were playing so much paddle and shit. Here, this is the focus, baby. We switched to the full body X push pull routine in the Beastly app. So this is two workout days back to back, one rest day, then two workout days after that. A lot more volume. And I'm also ruthlessly going to be trying to increase the weights every single week. That's the beauty of the Beastly app, of course. It automatically implements that progressive overload for you. But if I'm being honest, the last few months in Spain, I kind of got in that bad routine of just going through the motions and lifting like the same weight week after week. Which ain't gonna do shit. Anyway, today we got a full body pull day. Get it started with some barbell rows. Let's get it. Workout complete. Now we got we got no time to delay. We got a job to do, man. I got a lot of calories I gotta eat, so I can't have a you know pussy post-workout protein shake. That's not gonna cut it. You guess? Y'all guess what's in the bag? I, I think they can probably. I think they can probably guess what's in the bag. So we got two chicken tacos with like onion and cilantro on there. 
These are my favorite. They're my go-to. And two bacon huevo y queso breakfast tacos. Mmm. What the hell, ma'am? Mmm. You miss tacos? That's why I miss tacos, man. It's the sky blue. <laughs> it's LeBron James. The GOAT. I think MJ actually might be the GOAT. The tacos are the GOAT. These are the real GOAT. So obviously there's no available nutrition information because it's literally the gas station guy, but I went ahead and estimated in the app. You can see here that meal was just under 1,200 calories. These are the different ingredients. I add one tablespoon of olive oil whenever I eat out to account for like the, the oil that they cook the food in. My goal is 3,200 for the day, so it's a good start. Now, obviously I don't eat tacos for breakfast every single morning. A lot of times Julia will cook or another amazing option that actually just got dropped off right here for people who want to eat healthy, but you're busy and you need something quick is Factor, the sponsor of today's video. So basically Factor makes it easier than ever to reach your nutrition goals by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. You get to choose from a weekly menu of 35 options, including popular choices like calorie smart, keto, vegan and vegetarian, or my personal favorite, the protein plus meal plan. And that means factor meals eliminate the hassle of prepping, cooking, or cleaning up. Simply heat and savor the good stuff. And the best part is the meals are ready in two minutes flat. And the meals are always delicious. This one right here is like a turkey chili and zucchini. Ready? Ready for the money shot? Take a look at that right there, bro. Mmm, they don't miss. And because Factor is sponsoring today's video, you can head to factor75.com and use code HADABEAST50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off the next box. That is factor75.com or that first thing in the description with code HADABEAST50 to get 50% off the first box and 20% off the second box while the subscription is active. Do not sleep on this. Your diet will thank you. I just need to numb the pain for a minute. I just want to run away or vacation. I don't know what else to say now. I just so I'm quite literally about to put my life on the line right now. I'm about to try a new barber, man. It's been like three weeks since my last cut. I'm starting to look a bit shaggy. We obviously just moved country. So I've been over here doing research, reading reviews for local barbers. I identified a hot, a hot uh, candidate who I got high hopes for. But you know what it's like when you sit down in that new barber see anything could happen man it could turn out well or it could it could ruin your life for a few months or a few weeks y'all know i got the three cut rule of my new barber so y'all not gonna meet him today but if the first two dates go well i'll introduce you guys to him wish me luck all right so before i give you my thoughts drop a comment right now and rate the haircut out of 10. here's the fade on one side here's the fade on the other side you can see, if I get in the sun here, you can see the, the top front angle a little bit more. For me, he earned a second date. He earned a second date. It was a good experience. He really listened to my preferences. He went a little more conservative to try and earn my trust, I think. So we didn't do too much with the top. But the shape is good. The fade is good. Whew. It's a good first date. So for meal two, we got an old childhood favorite of mine, some Quaker oats. We got three packets. I had to do two maple sugar packets with one apple and cinnamon packet. And then a cup and a half of this milk. Huge fan of this. See, it's ultra filtered milk. There's a few brands that do these, but 13 grams of protein for only 80 calories. It's like 50% more protein than regular milk. It helps you reach that protein goal. Mmm. Brings me right back to like rushing to get ready before school and make sure I don't miss the bus back in like Fifth grade, mm. And you can see that meal came out to 600 calories on the dot. Those are my totals for the day so far, right on track to hit my goals. If you're trying to get dialed in for summertime with me right now, you'd be stupid not to use this app. It just makes it easier than ever to actually track your calories, stay consistent with your diet. And in the gym, you don't even have to think about anything. You just show up, follow the app. It takes care of all that complicated science and make sure that you don't get lazy because it's automatically gonna challenge you to lift more each week. There's a reason why so many guys have completely transformed their bodies and their confidence using this app, man. You can click that second link down in the description to download the app and get a free seven day trial. If you don't like it, you don't even have to pay, bro. Ah, right, Julia, tell them what's about to go down. All right, today's mission is we are going to try to find modern objects to go on these beautiful floating shelves in our kitchen. I don't wanna put plates and things like that. I want it to look unique. So today we are finding things for this shelf only. Over there, we already have some things and eventually I will do all of them. Don't talk to us, we're on a mission. 
This could work. I like that. This could work. No, it could not. This could not work. Keep an open mind. Low key, I think that this belly button could work. <laughs> no, even <laughs> it's controversial. It gets the people going. No, the booty for sure no, could work. Absolutely not. This one's pretty good. I like these. Is it handcuffs or what? No, they're chain links. We'll chain you up. You made a big mistake not getting the ass. That's so weird. It's weird. People can come over and be like, is that an ass? You a little jealous of that ass? <laughs> it was fat. Now time to get dinner at Whole Foods. Look at this. This is gonna be perfect. You put it in the oven, a little crispy on it, it's garlic bread. Mm. A little pre-marinated salmon for Julia. Gracias. Oh my God, bro, look at that ribeye. You know how you can tell it's a good one? How? Guess. It's really pink. No, it's because the fat is all marbled throughout there. Perfect. That's what I said. It's a masterpiece. So our favorite new pastime, it's already a pastime in the new neighborhood, is going for these long evening strolls with the puppies, because it's up in hill country, most of it's not developed yet, and it's so peaceful. And they're literally all custom homes, so they're breathtaking, and we just love the long walks. Yeah, y'all gotta see some of these houses. Like, look, this house right here is gonna be super dope. I'm, I'm maybe number two in the neighborhood after ours. Kinda reminds me of our house. It has like a similar vibe. I'm not a huge fan of one stories, but this, they pull it off. I'm from New England and like, one stories aren't normally a thing, but when people down here, they're like, yeah, I live in a ranch. Like, it's this. Guys, there is nothing sexier than a guy that knows how to open a bottle of wine with ease. Alright, first time using the new Gorilla a Coyote. It's got a little, look at that, got a light here. We're gonna start by putting Julia's, show him Julia. We're gonna start by putting her salmon on right there. Starting it on some direct heat for the steak. I'm gonna start doing a little, oh man, you see that? It's getting legit. I've been doing some, some dry brennan, they call it. Some pre-salting on the steak. Get that there. Give it a little, a little extra of a seasoning. I got high hopes. I got high hopes. I've been studying up. Unfortunate problem with Julia's salmon. When I was flipping it, half it slipped off. I gotta work on my flip game. Not the last supper, but the first supper at the new dining room. This ribeye is looking dangerously good. I apologize for the, yeah. the half salmon. Where's my salmon? <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm on my journey. I'm on my grill master journey. I'm not there yet. You gonna tell him what you did? I already showed them. Oh. Look, we got some some stuff that Julia made. This garlic bread looks good. What's that stuff? Mashed potatoes and Brussels sprouts. How's the salmon? For the little piece I have, it looks really well cooked. A solid six and a half. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's like a nine out of 10. It's really good. You guys, I just wanna apologize now. We do not have any steak knives yet. So he's using a butter knife. I think this might be the best steak I've ever cooked. Oh, 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 Mmm, the best steak I've ever cooked. 8.2 out of 10. Still gotta improve. So that meal comes out to a little over 1,200. My totals for the day, 3360 calories, which I know technically is above the 3,200 I mentioned to y'all, but I made a mistake. See, in your customized settings of the Beastly app, there's an activity level setting. And because I have a higher metabolism, that really should be on high for me. So you'll see that that recalculates my totals to 3,400 for the calories. So really right on point. And ready, 221 grams of protein without even having a protein shake. So there's a new show we've been watching recently, Masters of the Air, one of the second to last episode. What's your rating out of 10 so far? I gave it a 9.8. I really like it. A 9.8? Yeah, I think it's great acting and I love the history. I give it like a... Seven. What? It's it's okay. It's pretty good. It's okay. It's above average. Well, it's you pretty good. You get like shitty movies seven out of ten. Just watch the trailer, guys. A girl with riding through is hard to find. I'll miss you every second. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed coming along for a day in the life of 
Eden in Texas. Oh, a quick update. A couple of these new pieces did make the cut up here. But tell me that a big, a big booty like right up there, some big cheeks right there would not look amazing up here, man. Come on. Now with summer around the corner, I'd recommend you watch that video next. It is about the fastest way to get a six pack before summertime. Click there to watch that now. If you're new to the channel, click down there to subscribe as I release two new videos every single week. You don't want to miss them. I'll talk to you in the next video. Stay beastly.